Hello and welcome to the webinar System Default Settings for Shukal. My name is Kai Lindberger and I'd like to introduce the following subjects. So first of all, I'd like to talk about the handling of the system default settings in Shukal and uh, I show you how to work with the system specific blocks as well as uh, we are talking about specific of glass and also the specifics when copying and changing the systems. And to do so, I go directly into the Shukal and uh, I go to the general tab and here below the technical details headline, you find the system default settings. Just open it. And you can see here on top, so that the, if you did some changes, the last use profile systems are shown here. And uh, here you see some pins if they are green you add them or you have added them as favorites so you can also unpin this now it's a normal system which is in last used and if you click on that so that is one of your favorites always shown on top of your lists <clears throat> so well um what can you do in this dialogue here on the here you've got search for search for individual properties. If you click on that, you get some columns here, and uh, the columns are search columns. So if you call up AWS75.si, so it's a selection and a search of this particular profile system. So it makes it much easier to select a profile system you like to change. I delete this now here, this choice, and you see um, everything is shown again. Mm. Here on the left-hand side, you can close all properties, as you can see this here. So, so that you see the headlines. So here you find aluminium, win aluminium windows doors, block systems, window facades, sliding items, folding and sliding facades, safety and security system, as well as steel in case you have rented them from us. And now I like to open the aluminium windows doors and uh, I want to show you something regarding the AWS ADS 70. HI. If you click on this profile system on the left side, you see on the right hand side the different settings coming from the fabrication time calculation over the glass and panel designs assigned to the system, technical setting, headline, processing settings, and also the CE marking. Well, and also here you can close all the properties in order to get just the headlines. Well, and I'd like to show you something regarding the technical settings. If we open this and then we go to the design, here I've got the, for example, the flash threshold profiles for doors. And you've got two options here. One is continuous and the other is not continuous. And if you highlight one of these points, you can go to the help for this future and it guides you directly to the help in which you can see, okay, that is the continuous small threshold here and that is not continuous. It just goes to the boundary of your auto frame. Well, what I like to do is I want to save the not continues to a block. And uh, you can define a description here, threshold, not continues, like that. And you can save this as a block and I give the same name here as I've defined the description. You can define as many blocks as you like and call them up whenever you like within or outside your item. I want to do this here for threshold continues 
and I go back to the continuous one and apply this setting to that. <clears throat> well, um, for example, let's talk about the cleats. It's also one setting, the technical setting. You get them, for example, nailed, or you, if you like, you get them screw type or customer fabricating, which means you get the six meter bars, or you can also select without cleats. And um, if you do not know, you can also search, for example, for nailed. For example, if, if you see that, so every word given here in this kind of dialogues are able to be chosen here in your search field. Well, on the left hand side, you can select the first and you can select a bunch of profile systems here using the using the shift data. And here you see the following. So with the description, you see there's one description threshold continues and it belongs to the AWS 70.hi. So for the others, you do not have defined any blocks. We can close this here and uh, let's go for the multiple selection. If you see the description here, you see all the selected profile systems as well. And uh, that's how this dialog works. And you can very easily check in case there's a new profile system here uh, installed with a version of Shukal, and it, it's very similar to Fabricate to one of the existings on the left hand side. You can check them very easily by making multiple selection and checking the settings here on the right hand side. Good. So what I like to do now is I want to add a new project. I create a new project and it gets, however, a number and description. I want to talk about some doors here and I double click on it and then I'm within my project here. And uh, what I like to do now is I want to create a double front door, a double front door and I like to use the system AWS70.hi. So you see that that was one of my last used. And uh, then I click on the AWS70, click on OK. And then I've got my double front door. <clears throat> and here you see we were in the technical settings. Uh, we, I've showed you the cleats and you got the corner cleats nailed, for example, 236189. And um, what else can you do? You can change all the, also the technical settings here. <coughs> and you've got two options. You can load them from a block. Yes, for example, our threshold not continuous, or you can go directly to the technical settings. You go to the <coughs> design and here you also have the flash threshold profile for doors. And um, what you set, do the, the settings on the left side, you see here it is continuous. And what you can do is if you go to the settings, to the design, if you select them to non not continuous, so what you do on the left hand, it will be shown on the right hand side. Now this here is not continuous. And by the way, if you do some changes within this dialog, um, it doesn't change the general data because as soon as you open a new item, 
the general system default settings are copied to this particular item so you can do any changes you like without changing the general data um, and here are all options shown regardless if they are used or not and if you click on shown active only like that you see this dialogue is shortened only by the settings which are needed for this particular item here. I close now this item, right? And uh, if you make a right click on your item, you can also change the technical settings from here. And as soon as you make a printout or if you open your item, the, your changes take effect. Well, <clears throat> I open the item again and uh, I want to change the profile system from AWS 70 to AWS 70 5.si. I click on that, I click on OK, and suddenly a message appears so that the UG UP value for this profile system has been exceeded. Actual 1.1, the target is 0.6. Where does it come from? It also comes from the technical settings. <clears throat> for example, if you go to the general set, General tab, System Default Settings. You see for the AWS 75, <clears throat> the glass is shown here with 38 millimeter and it has got a UG value of 0.6. Whereas the 70 profile system has got a UG value 1.1. And um, in case of a, the, of a change of the system, the glass remains as it is a project related glass. So going back to my item and leaving now this item here, you see that is a project related glass, which is still in this added to this item, but the UG value doesn't match to your system default settings. So the glass in the system default settings can be selected by you individually, whatever you like, whatever glass you like to get. So that means that you, by defining the system default settings, you can define the glass tailored for your particular needs. All right. And now I like to show you the specific of copying and changing the items. For example, I like to define the AWS ADS 70.h as I cleats, corner cleat for the frame Currently, they are nailed, and I want to get them without cleats. And I apply this. And then let's do the following to show you a special effect. I go now to my project, and I create a new item. It's also a door. And uh, I like to use for the double front door, the AWS 75. Click on that, click on OK. And what do I get regarding the cleats for the frame? I get them nailed, right? Good. Now, if I change the profile system to AWS 70, click on OK. And I get, again, I get them nailed. Oh, but I have defined this 
without any cleat. But that is a special effect I'd like to show you now. I close the item and I create the same door. And instead of using AWS 75, I select AWS 70.hi. Click on that and guess what you get? I get no cleats because we have predefined in the general tab not to get any cleats for AWS 70. But what happens if you change a profile system? I change it now to 75. Again, I get no cleats. I go to the undo function here and I do the same, but with another option. I go to AWS 75 and here on the bottom left, you've got load technical settings and processing from the master data. And the master data, we have determined that you get some cleats for the, your framework in this system. If you click on that and click on OK, you can load the data and you get the corner cleats nailed. So we can recommend the following. As a conclusion, we recommend to define the technical settings for all systems to avoid unwanted effect effects by changing the profile system. And as there's also another function I like to show you with the system default settings. If you click on that, <coughs> you've got on the, on the top left a certain function, which is import and export. So in case you are working within a network, these settings you see now here, the system default settings are valid for all users within a network working with Shukal. But if you've got single licenses and not connected to the database on a network, you can do the setting here on your local computer. You can export them and send them to the next computer and import all your settings. So it's quite simple to copy all the data for all profile systems to another computer without using a network. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the small video or the short video of uh, the system default settings of Shikal. Thank you for your attention and taking part and uh, have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye and auf Wiedersehen.